Deep inside the armor and protection of our skeletal system is our bone marrow, which is a soft tissue where blood and lymph cells are born from one common ancestor called the hematopoietic stem cell. This stem cell produces hundreds of billions of cells every day in the process that creates both daughter cells as well as new stem cells. And the new stem cells repeat the process over and over again, creating an endless and regenerative cycle. The daughter cells, on the other hand, are known as progenitor cells because they continue a process of multiplying and dividing into different types of cells. This process is known as differentiation, where each new type of progenitor cell continues to divide and multiply into new types of cells until finally reaching their full maturity and differentiation. There are three primary kinds of cells created in this process. They are red cells, white cells, and platelets. Our blood cells reach full maturity in the bone marrow before they migrate to the blood vessels and enter the bloodstream. But some white cells, such as T-cell lymphocytes, do not reach full maturity in the bone marrow, but instead migrate to the lymph nodes and thymus, where they continue evolving into fully mature and differentiated T-cells. Later we'll see how these cells are triggered to return to the bloodstream and help the other white cells fight off infections and other invaders.